Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like. It's like walking in the room, hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. I'm not even going to spend a whole lot of time talking about this chick. And I was debating whether I was even going to discuss it because I was so disgusted when I heard this several days ago. But I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to say this when it comes to Arion and even though these conversations between her and the blogger Original Straight No Chaser were done some time ago, we know that it didn't happen yesterday. It doesn't matter to me and I don't really know what the goal the vlogger has by releasing this information now because honestly it just really stirs up a whole lot more feelings and emotions and anger at this point in time not saying those things were swept under the rug but we know that Arion has spent a whole lot of time a whole lot of time sitting doing videos live videos and and maybe some stories social media posts trying to come for Melody who is her baby daddy and that's all he is her baby daddy's ex-wife, who she was doing everything that she could with while he was married to Melody to make him leave his wife and his family to be with her. This girl, and I'm going to call her girl, even though I know she's not 18 or below, this this girl really has some some problems. She's extremely twisted, and I feel that somebody needs to handle that because... I just feel that she needs to be dragged to court. I'm not even an advocate for people to just take people to court for the sake of taking them to court because I feel that it's like wasted money on your end, especially when the person who you're suing really doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. Trust me, I've been there. There's a few people that I could have sued over the years when it comes to things in business, but to sue them, I would come out on you know the losing end not saying I wouldn't win in court because I would but after attorney's fees time emotions and all of those things I just decided it wasn't worth the squeezing of the lemon so I just said you know what I'll do my best to make these lemons into lemonade in other ways in my life but with this girl I would I would highly suggest Melody to sue her. I don't know on what grounds. I don't know if for defamation. I don't know if for stalking. I don't know. I mean, even if she didn't win, just to just to punish her in court and to waste her money again. Like I said, I'm not even an advocate for that. But for some people, you really have to show them. And the fact that this girl was sitting on the phone discussing with this vlogger potentially Melody being a victim of something when she was a child who does that tell me what person do you know that was I'm not even going to say sleeping with okay who was screwing what what female do you know that was screwing someone else's husband and for years they have gone around calling this woman all types of names And to the point where you're sitting and having a conversation on the phone talking about her and even talking about this person's mom and this person's possible father and the the fact that this person may have been a victim of something when they were a child. I was so disgusted by this audio. I really, I, I couldn't say much immediately. Like I said, I thought about talking about it. But I was so disgusted, I I couldn't even bring myself to really discuss it because it just was that disgusting. And all I could think of is Melody really needs to sue this girl. Sue her for whatever you can sue her for. And who knows, she may already be in the process of doing something in the background. She's one of those people like me who doesn't really say a whole lot up front. It's kind of like when you know about it, you know about it. You can make some assumptions, but... Again, I just feel that this girl needs to be sued because I don't think that her having charges pressed against her ex-husband was enough. 
this file demon has been sitting, running his mouth, sharing information, whether it's true or not, with this girl. When all you were really there for, I thought, was what was between her legs and possibly in between her butt cheeks. I'm just, and the, the, you know, the part that runs all of the time talking about people. I just don't get it. It is so foul. There, I don't, I don't really know what amount of punishment could be given to the ex-husband, Arion's baby wife, but I really believe that Melody needs to sue Arion because this is just too much. I don't care if that conversation happened five years ago. She crosses the line far too often and the obsession is sick. It, it, it borders on stalking. It, it really is gross. It, it, it really is gross. And now she's trying to, I, I don't know what, be a social media influencer with her BBL. Like, it's just really ridiculous. It, it's so, oh God, it, she just looks so, she looks so ridiculous and she sounds even more ridiculous. I really believe that the girl is missing some things mentally cognitively she's just not all there and it's weird to me that this creep has thrown away his family his ex-wife and his four children that he had with his ex-wife to not even be in a relationship with her but to at some points, be with this person here and there in public. The children that you had in your marriage see that and you think that your children are going to be okay with you? They're not. I see those children resenting him so much as they get older where they're going to make the choices and decisions that they don't want to be with him and it's going to have nothing to do with any influence from their mom. And for him to be with someone like this because before she ever came to the forefront and we knew anything about what she looked like to me you couldn't tell me that this person wasn't someone not saying that they were on the same level as Melody but definitely just being an adult that person wouldn't be on the level of Melody because usually when they cheat, it's a downgrade. Let's just be honest. It's it's usually just there for the hot box that's between their legs, you know, because that's usually the way it works. But this person, it really is like she is a child. And that's even an insult to children because there are children that are brighter and smarter than she is, have way more intelligence. But to me, it what I see, when I see her, when I hear her voice, and then the times, the few times we've seen him discuss her or the few times we've seen him on camera with her, it looks like a person who is with someone that is much younger. And you know what I mean by that. I'm not going to use the word, but you know that it starts with the letter P. And that's what it looks like to me. It makes him look like he is a pedophile or a pedophile. <laughs> you know what I mean? And no, I know she's not a child, but that's what it gives. That's what it looks like to me. It's so creepy and disgusting. I would be doing everything that I could to not have this man around my children if I were Melody, but I would definitely be taking her to court. Because it's just crossed the line far too many times. And yeah, it was entertaining and funny when Melody did the video and she was talking about, you know, just because I hadn't said much doesn't mean I wouldn't whoop your ass. Okay, that's cool. It's funny. And we believe that you could. But she's not worth you laying hands on. Take her butt to court. She doesn't have any money to defend herself. I would be dragging this, you know what, through the court system. Not through the streets, through the court system. Okay? And to hear her discussing with the vlogger, which it was a little bit disturbing to me too. I wouldn't even say a little bit disturbing. It was a good bit disturbing 
to hear the vlogger say some of the things that she said to Arion because I don't know if she really felt like that with some of the things or it was her way of egging her on to share more. I don't know. I don't know what the intent was, but she says that she records all of her conversations because people will lie and they'll come back and they'll say that they never said anything. But her trying to do these responses by pretty much not responding to it and trying to show herself off as being a social media influencer, who but anyone like her would be influenced by anything that she has going on. The girl has wanted Melody's life, just like Melody said, and she's not getting anything close to it. But this struggle situationship, it's not a relationship. I'm quite sure she does not work. He says he takes care of her with what money? I have no idea. But scammers and people like them, they find a way to get by, even if they have to eat hot Cheetos for dinner, okay? Hot Cheetos for dinner and cereal for breakfast. But listen, I am disgusted. I was already disgusted by her, but I didn't think that it could go any lower. So to hear her discuss Melody's possible childhood trauma with a vlogger, it's just absolutely insane to me. And then to respond by acting as if she's not bothered by any of it and I'm just going to live my life and be a social media influencer. Girl, please. I'm I'm just through with it. I, I'm surprised I spent as much time as I already did talking about this clown. But yeah, you let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Bye.